one cup of cereal contains uh, 22.0 grams of carbohydrates, 4.2 grams of minerals, 0.7 grams of vitamins, 1.5 grams of water, and 3.0 grams of protein. So we've got to find the ratio of water to protein, first of all. So, um, water to protein. The amount of water is 1.5. So 1.5 to protein. 3.0, right? That can be written as a fraction. 1.5 5 over 3.0 okay and because the top and bottom have one decimal place okay I would advise you in fact to multiply the top and bottom by something so that we can move that decimal place over do you know what that something would be what do I multiply 1.5 by to move the decimal place one place to the right in other words, I want to turn 1.5 into 15. What do I multiply it by? Would you multiply it by 10? Yep. 1.5 times 10 move the decimal place one place to the right and you get 15. And then times the bottom by 10, 3.0 times 10, decimal point goes over one space and you get 30. Now you can put this guy into lowest terms. What do you get? But in fact, 15 into 15 goes once, 15 into 30 goes twice, so you get 1 over 2. But if I, well, you keep going down, and you know you might get 3, put 5 in there, you get 3 over uh, 6, but 3 over 6 then we end up being 1 over 2 in the end, right? Okay, so can you press pause and do this one? Find the ratio of minerals to vitamins. Minerals 4.2, vitamins 0.7 find that ratio same way so please press pause and try this one then I'm gonna do it pretty quickly so did you try it three seconds I'm gonna do it now three two one okay minerals is 4.2 grams to vitamins which is 0 0.7 okay so we write that as a fraction 4.2 over 0 0.7 I like to move the decimal point one place to the right so I'm gonna multiply it by 10 over 10 4.2 times 10 is 42. 0.7 over 10 is um, 7. I'm going to put this guy in lowest terms. 7 into 7 goes once. 7 into 42 goes how many times? 6 times. And that gives me 6 over 1. And that is the correct answer, and you don't write it as 6, because you want it in a ratio form, right? Because it's saying we've got uh, 4.2 grams of minerals to 0 0.7 grams of vitamins. So the point is, we've got minerals over vitamins. So for every 6 grams of minerals, there is one gram of vitamins. That is the comparison of the amount of minerals and vitamins in this cup of cereal. For every six grams of min minerals, there's one gram of vitamins, type of thing. Or even you could say for every six milligrams, there's one milligram of vitamins. But there's six times as many vi minerals as vitamins, is the idea, right? Okay, so find the ratio of protein to vitamins and minerals. Look at that. Vitamins and minerals. Okay? Vitamins and minerals means you've got to take the vitamins, 0 0.7, and the minerals, 4.2, and you've got to add them together. Vitamins and minerals together makes, if you add these, right? 4.2, 0 0.7, add them. 2 and 7 is 9. 4 and 0 is 4. You get 4.9 grams of vitamins and minerals. So the ratio of protein to vitamins and minerals is protein is 3.0, right? So it's 3.0 to 4.9, which equals. 
3.0 over 4.9. Do we need to move the decimal place to one, one space to the right? So we're going to multiply it by what over what? 10 over 10, right? And that gives me 30 over 49. Does that reduce any further? Well, 30 is 5 times 6. 49 is 7 times 7. So these guys don't have common factors, do they? So it's already in lowest terms. That's your answer. Hit.